What's going on guys, Bob here back with some Mutant Genetic Gladiator, so let's get into this today, we're going to be checking out the PvE event, the Moon event, as you can see here, we are getting a Mutant at 100, Platinum Star Reactor Tokens, a Cyber Zone Deluxe, which is pretty nice, and some Jackpot Tokens, everything else is whatever. I do like the Platinum, although it kind of sucks that they didn't add in the other stars, although we do get a Cyber Deluxe Zone. Which I guess is pretty nice. I really wish on these zones they would just give us one of the ones that you could put whatever you want in. But uh, looks like they're, they're just going to go through them because they have been giving us like the Zoomorph, Necro, stuff like that. So at some point they'll probably give us the Mythic one as well. Which is going to help out a ton of people if you can get to it. And uh, yeah, that's basically all we're doing. We do have X27 which we're using as our speed character and then the other two we're just using them to level them up because they are new platinums slash golds and stuff like that and yeah that's basically about it we're just leveling up mutants as we go along getting the pve event done there is a new pvp event as well although i haven't started that one i really really should considering we only have a short amount of time because they went back to i guess their normal schedule which is PvE um, two weeks and then PvP two weeks although they put the PvE event a week so that way there's a week in between them when they reset and yeah that kind of sucks that we didn't get another Jingle Bells event but we did get some pretty good stuff out of it we got some new mutants some amazing rewards and stuff like that so yeah, that's basically all we're doing. We're trying to level up some gold mutants, get them up to platinum, level up platinum mutants, and uh, just try to get everything else we can as we level up. So we'll uh, just continue to do that. I will do PvP at some point. I did do last season's PvP, if you guys did not notice. Although I just uploaded them in hour blocks because... Uh, yeah, they took forever. I actually speeded up some of the clips as well, so that way it was a lot shorter. Instead of having them like an hour 30 or something like that, I shortened them to about an hour, which uh, I think was a lot better. Um, I'm thinking about doing that with PvE. If I'm not doing any commentary and it's a pretty long PvP fight or video, then I'm going to try to shorten it down by speeding up the clips so some of the fights might be a little bit faster. Some of them are probably going to be a little bit uh, slower, you won't be able to really tell, but the ones that are going to really speed up are the ones that get done really quick. So I don't know, we'll see what happens, but it does save like 10, 20, 15 minutes on one video, which is a lot considering the video is like an hour 30 and 20 minutes off that is really, really nice. So I will be doing more PvP, I do have another session I'm going to be doing. Which is usually what I do with PvP, I just sit there for like an hour, hour 30, sometimes two hours if I want to go that long, and just get as much fights as I can done and try to get as much points as possible within that day. So that way I at least get the rewards. I believe this time they're okay, they're not the best. I mean, we always get stars and stuff like that, we always get reactor tokens. Um, I believe they're giving us a mutant in that one too. I don't remember what it was. I, I just know I have it, so that kind of sucks. We don't really need it, but I'll do it anyway. Uh, I did get the last PvP season done, and I do need to go and put the mutant and make a video for that, which will probably be out whenever this comes out as well. I did already put out the first half of this just because it was really long. I think I'm going to start doing that with PvP not pvp well pvp and pve i'm just gonna put out uh pve i'm just gonna put out the first 89 yeah 89 floors or levels fights or whatever you want to call them all in one video and then speed it up a little bit so that way it's not too long it's probably gonna be hour plus maybe i'll split in half if it's like two hours or something like that but i will speed the videos up so that way you guys don't have to sit there for that long Plus, uh, finding a ton of music for that kind of sucks. I usually just use my old uh, playlists, which are like 20, 30, 40 minutes blocks of music from Technoax. So, usually just use that because I don't want to sit there and sift through 
Epidemic Sounds playlist to find like an hour worth of um, music. So that's what I've been doing. I am working on more Platinums. I think I still have like five or six Platinum Stars, which is pretty insane. Unfortunately, we didn't get the PvP uh, uh, the last season. They had two stars at the end. We didn't get that just because I couldn't get the points I needed, which I knew was going to be pretty insane considering the amount of time we had. So I didn't actually really try. I just did the fight, got to 100, just hoping um, the points would come down. But it was well over 3K because I think I was at 3K by the end of that event. And the amount of time we had, easily, probably minimum amount of points you probably needed were either 4,000. I'm going to say about 5, considering we had way more time than we should have on that event. But, uh, I don't know. We'll see how it actually works out for this next PvP season, considering it was only, I think, 6 days they gave us. They gave us less than a week, just because they want to put the PvE and PvP back on the I guess schedule that they had before so we'll see how that goes the mutant I don't need the mutant in this I don't need but the other rewards I'm going for so we'll see about that and as you can see my campaign passes have been going down a lot I had I think 10k at one point but with all the events I've been spending like a thousand thousand five hundred here and there and I do get a ton of gifts back it's just there's so much stuff in all of the gifts like they added the Christmas ornaments or whatever um, I think the Halloween one they had the Halloween candies or whatever so they always add stuff in there plus we already have the orbs and all that other stuff that's in there besides the campaign passes so even though I get let's say a thousand two thousand uh, gifts then Probably about 1%, maybe 2% are passes, so I'm only getting a couple hundred. So I am going to be adding a ton of new people and deleting a ton of old people. So that way I can maximize my passes because I need more than I'm currently getting. So we'll see how that works out. Probably going to de delete upwards of maybe a couple hundred people and add in two, three, four, five hundred people. On Facebook so look forward to that I'll probably do that towards the end of the month uh, I'll probably make a video for it um, by itself just to let you know to send me a request because I gotta go delete all the requests I gotta go clean out my friends list um, go look in my inbox all that stuff because I just have like hundreds of messages for people just continuously asking me to add them so probably gonna start adding people so now's a good time to send me a message I wouldn't send a request just because I have to go delete those pretty soon so that way when I do put out the video everyone knows to send a request then and I'm just gonna add a ton of people but uh, there are rules of course you spam me I block you you put um, like add stuff like that block you. you use cheats ask for hacks stuff like that I block you so it's pretty uh, pretty strict when it comes to adding people if they're spamming stuff like that I'm just gonna block you just because I don't have the time to deal with it as well as I could just delete you and add a ton of other people that will be a lot more helpful and won't sit there and spam me all day so that's what we're probably going to be doing with Facebook pretty soon because I do have a ton of people that I don't play anymore or they moved on to Primal Legends or DBZ or there's just like a ton of other games out there that they moved on to but uh, considering I play a ton of other ones pretty hard to keep up with all of them but that's what we're going to be doing this month and next month we're going to be cleaning out my list probably towards the end of this month is when I'm probably going to be adding more people so that should be fun and hopefully it works out a lot better so that way I don't have to worry too much and I can uh, start getting them passes because I need them really really bad but I do have more platinums coming out we do have the mutant from the PvP season which I'm gonna be doing we do have new mutant in the shop which I'm gonna be doing as well and I think that's it I think I covered everything that I'm going to be doing 
Uh, of course, I'm going to be continuing to just try to get as much stuff done as I can on mutants. I will try to get newer mutants as they come out. I did miss one of the newer ones, which for some reason I thought I bought, but apparently I didn't, which kind of sucks, which was... Uh, what was his name? I already forgot his name, but you could pre-order the token for like, I think it was $1.99, which was a really good price. And all you had to do was get him from the challenge hall. Unfortunately, for some reason, I didn't buy it. I thought I did. I swear I bought it for some reason. So that's why I didn't really check it. But uh, when it actually came out, I didn't actually buy it. So that kind of sucks. If you guys are wondering, usually I buy the mutants that are on sale. So that way I can make videos for you guys. And if it is only $1.99, I'll grab it. Sometimes the $5 ones I'm probably going to have to grab from now on as well just because that's what they've been upping them to. For They went from $1.99 to 5 which really, really sucks. So I'm probably not going to buy them all, but maybe one every other time they come out or if it looks pretty cool or something like that, I will. And uh, we'll try to get those into Platinum as well. And, uh, yeah, if those videos do good, I'll continue to buy them, of course. But, yeah, they're pretty expensive to buy. And, I don't know, to get them up to Platinum is a little bit hard, too, considering you have to get two of the gold ones. And I'm lacking gold stars just because I made so many Platinums that, uh, kind of running low on gold stars, I do have to go and do the black hole experiment and try to get a ton of bronze stars which literally you have to sit there for two to three hours crafting which is the most boring thing ever so uh, I don't look forward to that but we are gonna have to do it at some point to get more stars and I know a ton of people have been asking me about my gold I do get 700 or was it seven no 750 no, I think I only get 700 from the forges, or is it furnaces? I can't remember which is which, but uh, the one that gives me 50, I get 700 gold from that, which is every two days, and then the other one I do have, I have four of them, which give you five gold every 12 hours, so that's basically 20 gold every 12 hours, which if you time it right in a day, you can get 40, but it's pretty hard to do I usually just only get 20 a day and then of course every two days I do get the 700 so if you guys are wondering where all the gold coming from that's basically where it comes from really really recommend getting forges or furnaces whenever they come out um, if they come out for pretty cheap although they raise a the price like crazy on those so I really wouldn't recommend them um, if you don't want to spend that much I hardly ever spend that much the only reason I actually bought the recent ones was because it was coupled with a mutant and everybody wanted to see that mutant so I wanted to make a video for it and that's the only reason I actually bought them but most of the other ones I bought from gold way back when they first came out and uh, I think they gave us a few of them from the bingo and some other places as well that's basically where I got most of mine from but yeah, that's going to be about it for this one. We are going to be going to the last four, and that's going to be about it. But hopefully you guys were able to get everything, the gold star, the mutant, whatever you actually needed to get to. Uh, look forward to more PvP, more PvE, and hopefully more mutants, depending on how much they cost. Because if they're really expensive, I really don't want to buy them. But maybe they'll start doing more of the pre-order ones for a lot cheaper, and I'll do it like that. But that's going to be about it for this one. If you did make it this far, thank you guys for watching. And we'll talk to you guys later.